When you're working with algebraic fractions, the main thing to remember is that the rules are just the same as for ordinary numerical fractions. So if we're simplifying fractions, uh, we can multiply or divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number, and that doesn't change the fraction. Remember the numerator is the name for the top of the fraction, the denominator is the bottom. I might just call them top and bottom at various points in this video. So 4 over 12, I can divide top and bottom of the fraction by 4, and get 1 over 3, and that fraction is exactly the same as it was before. Nothing's changed. So just because there's algebra involved doesn't change the rules. So if I have another example here, we've got 4x over 12x. Well, here we can still divide top and bottom by 4 again. That will cancel out a factor of 4 on the top there, leaving just x, and we'll leave 3x on the bottom. And we can also cancel out a factor of x uh, top and bottom. We can divide top and bottom by x and get one third again. Uh, here's another example. We've got a times x divided by a times y. Uh, so top and bottom share a factor of a here. So I can divide the top by a to leave x and the bottom by a to leave y. So the answer is x divided by y or x over y. Here we've got x squared divided by 6x. Uh, x squared over 6x is uh, has a factor of x top and bottom because x squared is uh, x times x and the bottom is 6 times x so we can divide top and bottom by one of those x's and leave it as just x divided by 6 and I keep saying x divided by 6 or x over 6 and I hope um, you realize that these are just the same things uh, you know a fraction like 3 fifths means the number you get when you divide 3 by 5 in fact that's where the uh, division uh, symbol comes from in a way if you like it's, uh, it's uh, something divided by something else and that's uh, what we've got in a fraction. It's just those two dots represent those missing things, top and bottom, uh, in the fraction. Uh, here's a harder looking example. 12x squared y to the 5 times z divided by 6xyz cubed. And here there's lots of factors we can cancel. So uh, there's a numerical factor of 6. Uh, 12 divided by 6 is 2. And 6 divided by 6 is 1. So that won't leave anything on the bottom there. Because 1 times something is just itself. Looking at the factors of x, we've got x squared over x, so again a factor of x is going to cancel and leave just an x on the top and the x on the bottom will cancel out. y to the 5 divided by y, so that leaves uh, a factor of y to the 4 on the top, cancelling one factor of y, and z divided by z cubed, we can divide top and bottom by z and we get a z squared on the bottom, so that's our final answer there. Um, one more, uh, px over aq. Uh, this one's a trick question. Uh, so actually there are no uh, factors here. Uh, they're the same top and bottom, P, X, A and Q, they're all different. Uh, so actually the final answer to this question, simplifying it down, would just be leaving it as it is. just need to have the confidence there to realise there are no common factors you can cancel. So we've got the basic idea, let's look at some harder cases. Here we've got 2 times X plus 2 divided by 6 times X plus 2. These are nicely factorised forms the top and the bottom, so actually we've got a common factor of x plus 2 top and bottom that we can divide by to leave just 2 over 6. We also notice that there's a factor of 2, so that's uh, 1 third. Here's another one then. Um, so sometimes when you uh, have these questions, they need to be factorised before you can cancel the factors. Okay, so um, firstly, just don't, don't fall into that common uh, trap that some people do of saying, oh look, I've got an x top and bottom here, I can cancel I can cancel those x's, or or something like that. That doesn't work here, because because you, because the x isn't a factor of the numerator or of the denominator here, okay? So um, if you cancel out the x uh, in an example uh, like this, that's okay because this is just x times everything else on the top and this is x times everything else on the bottom. It is a factor of the top and the bottom. Uh, but here it's it's not. This isn't just x times something. The, the plus here makes it uh, quite different. So we're going to start by factorizing the top and the bottom as much as we can to find the factors that we might be able to cancel. So the top here has a factor of uh, 5. So I can write this as 5 times x plus 3. And the denominator has a factor of 6. So I can write it as 6 times x plus 3. And now we see that the factor uh, that's in common in the numerator and the denominator is x plus 3. So we get the final answer there of 5 sixths. Another one like that, the bottom here, the denominator, is already factorized, x plus 1 squared. So we'll leave that as it is. We don't want to multiply it out because we want it in its factorized form to spot the factors. Whereas the numerator, has, we can see, has a factor of 2. So we can write that as 2 times x plus 1 
over x plus 1 squared. And now that we can see there's a common factor of x plus 1 top and bottom, which we can cancel out, so that leaves 2 on the top, and x plus 1 squared divided by x plus 1 is x plus 1. The hardest examples of these involve factorising quadratics, so you need to be good at uh, doing that as well. Here we've got x squared plus 3x plus 2 over x plus 2, and if you factorise the top, and we won't talk about how to do that here, I'll leave that for other videos, um, but you get x plus 2 times x plus 1, and on the denominator we've got x plus 2, so see there's a factor of x plus 2 that cancels, and so it leaves just x plus 1 over 1. Um, students often leave their answer as this is its final form, and this isn't correct. Um, it is a equivalent to the correct answer, x plus 1 over 1, but something divided by 1 is just itself, so in its most simple form, I would want to leave that as just x plus 1. Okay, And you probably wouldn't even write in this step in between. Next one, then we've got another quadratic here that needs to be factorised. Uh, so you can work out that that is x minus 2 times x minus 3. And then on the denominator we've got x minus 3 times x plus 4. So those x minus 3's cancel to leave x minus 2 over x plus 4. So remembering if we're going to cancel factors, we need to first find those factors by factorising. And sometimes we might need to factorise both the numerator and the denominator, like here. So we've got x squared minus 1 divided by x squared minus 2x plus 1. Hopefully you recognise that the numerator, x squared minus 1, is the difference of two squares, which is x plus 1 times x minus 1, and the bottom as x minus 1 squared, or x minus 1 times x minus 1, if you like. So there's a factor of x minus 1 top and bottom, and it leaves x plus 1 over x minus 1. There's no further simplification we can do there. We can't cross out the x's or the 1's, because they're not factors of, of, of either the numerator or the denominator. Well, 1 is a factor of the numerator and the denominator, um, but that doesn't mean we can uh, cancel out these 1's. Um, uh, 1 is just a factor of anything. Uh, so, last example then here, x squared minus 1 over x squared plus 1. Well, we'll try and factorise the numerator and the denominator again. And we can factorise the numerator as x plus 1 times x minus 1. Uh, but actually, the uh, denominator here, uh, we can't factorise. Just got to leave it as x squared plus 1. So actually, there's nothing we can do with this um, fraction. It's in its simplest form uh, already. And we've just got to have the confidence to say we can't factorise it. That's that's the most simple simple form. Certainly can't cancel out factors of x or x squared here, or do or do anything else. So, in fact, you know you might just leave it like that as the final answer, or uh, this is just as good. So there we go. Um, rules for simplifying algebraic fractions are just the same as for simplifying numerical fractions. Just got to be really careful that the thing that you're cancelling top and bottom, uh, or multiplying or dividing by top and bottom, is a, is a, is really a factor there. Um, of the expression and we might need to factorise first in order to find those factors.